Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my February reading wrap up to share with you. So I'll be talking you through all the books I read in the month of February from the start of the month to the end of the month and my star ratings. So I will get straight into it. The first book I read and finished in February was Alice in the Zombie Dressed by Gina Shawalter, which is the second book to Alice in Zombieland, which is the White Rabbit Chronicles. Can't say too much about it obviously because it's a sequel, but this is my favourite one of the series. Again, you can guess what title, it's loosely based on Alice in Wonderland. Very refreshing take on zombies. Very interesting concept, really good characters. I liked the first one, but I really did like this one. Yeah, this one definitely was my favourite. The character development was really good and the story arc and things that happened throughout the plot of this book were really, really interesting and I couldn't stop reading it. It didn't take me very long to read it, I flagged through these books, but yes. Thought really enjoyed it, highly recommend, recommend the Alice in Zombieland series. I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was the sequel, the following sequel in the series, which was The Queen of Zombie Hearts, again by Gina Schwartz, which is the third book in the Alice in Zombieland White Rabbit Chronicles series. Again, I'm not going to say too much about it, obviously, because it is the third book in the series, so it might spoil it, and I'm not one for spoilers. But yeah, again, really enjoyed this one. Not as much as the second one, but yeah, still thoroughly enjoyed this one. I gave this one four stars also. The next one I read was How to Train Your Dragon by Cressida Cowell. I said before on a book haul, I think, when I hold this, that I've seen the movies. I haven't seen the third one yet. But yeah, read this, absolutely loved it. The only thing I will say is, I think the movies are better. The movie story is different, how Hiccup and Toothless Meat are completely different in the movie. And I prefer the movie to the book. The only thing is as well, if you've seen the movies, you'll know Toothless doesn't talk. But obviously because it's in a book and it's children's books, the children's books obviously, Toothless Talks, which to me didn't make it as funny and didn't make the relationship between him and Hiccup as sweet to witness. But yeah, enjoyed this one. We'll be continuing on with the series. There's 10 books in this series, I think, yeah. I gave this one three stars. Again, this is a case of, I've seen the movie first, then read the book, but the book was still absolutely hilarious. And it's Angus, Thongs and Four Frontal Snogging by Louise Renison. The movie is called Angus, Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Watched the movie last year, I think, at some point. It was just on the background, in the background on the TV, but I was watching it kind of thing. And I read this one in one day, it didn't take me very long, and it's hilarious, it's so funny. I love Georgia, the perspective that it's from. If you watch the, TV, the movie, which I know a lot of people have, you'll know all about her and what she's like, and the kind of personality she's got from her, so relatable and so funny. I also gave this one three stars as well. The fifth book I read for February was The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis. I had such a brain fart then. I had such a brain fart by C.S. Lewis. I read this one and really enjoyed this one. Didn't take me very long to read either. Proper people that this is in the Chronicles of Narnia, Narnia series. People are familiar with the series. It's a classic because I've read a very long time. Most people have seen the movies and love the movies. So you obviously know what the story is about, so I'm not going into too much detail about the story. But yeah, I read this one fairly quickly. Enjoyed the story. I read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe beforehand because this is kind of like a prequel and I enjoyed The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe more than this one. I've never seen the movies but yeah, enjoyed this one. I think I gave this one four stars. Three, so 3 3.5 or four stars I gave this one. And the last book that I read for the month of February was a reread of one of my all-time favourite books from one of my all-time favourite series and that was Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, the first book in the Infernal Devices series, which is the prequel series to The Mortal Instruments, also by Cassandra Clare. And I've started rereading The Mortal Instruments last year. I'm up to City of City of Fallen Angels. So I'm trying to read them in chronological order this time. So I've read City of Ash, um, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, and then Clockwork Angel. This took me a while to read again. I did the first time I read it, but I can't go wrong with this series. This is one of my all-time favourite series and I've wanted to reread it for such a long time. I finally got around to reading, rereading the first book again. And even though it's one of my favourite series, I forgot a lot of what's happened. So a lot of it I was still quite shocked and surprised about. Still love the characters, the same characters, just as much as the first time. Thoroughly enjoyed rereading this and I can't wait to continue on rereading the series. Obviously I gave this book a five stars out of five. Love it, can't go wrong with it. One of my all-time favourite series. I highly recommend this if you haven't picked it up yet. I know a lot of people have, but if you haven't, please do. 
because it's awesome. It's historical fiction, it's like steampunk historical fiction. And I'm not the biggest fan of historical fiction, but these I love. I could read these, I happily read these all day. So, one of the best books I've read, this, technically, read this year, and it's really, really, so yeah. Pretty mixed read a month on ratings. Good ratings, really. I haven't been disappointed by any of the books that I have read for this month. I have enjoyed every single book that I've read this month. So, well, in February, six books a month is pretty good for me. And even though, like, a few of them are only short books, I'm still reading. When it got to the end of the month, and, uh, like, it was coming into March now, it felt like I haven't read much. But obviously, I have. But yes, that's it for this video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll hopefully see you very soon in my next one. Bye!